was George Michael, I Want Your Sex. And you're listening to Willow Willis on Fab Radio International. Good evening, Manchester. Good morning, Sydney, and welcome, world. Uh, by the way, this program is broadcast live from Manchester every Thursday night from 7 to 8 p.m. UK time. Uh, and I also repost uh, my program on uh, the, uh, on uh, oh, what's it called again? CIA book? I mean, Fash book. I mean, Facebook. Uh, and you can uh, find my Facebook page on www.facebook.com forward slash Willow Willis or my radio page on uh, on uh, Facebook, the Willow Willis Radio Show, if it takes your fancy to uh, listen again or catch up on previous shows, uh, given that I've only done really a couple so far, because uh, I'm pretty new here, but I've uh, done a little bit of work in radio in Australia, so hopefully I'll be able to keep it together. On tonight's show, I'll abuse the mainstream news as it so rightly deserves. Sometimes you just need to call a spade a spade. And and actually, in, in calling a spade a spade, I just wanted to say briefly that uh, on the news just now, they talked about um, uh, this fellow Lipvinenko being assassinated and that um, uh, Mr. Putin, Vladimir Putin, probably gave the go-ahead for that. And he probably did. I don't suppose that a great deal happens in Russia that Vladimir Putin doesn't give the go-ahead on. But let's not pretend, folks. Let's not pretend. Uh, uh, if, if, you, if you didn't know, uh, nearly 50 years since the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the FBI and Memphis Police Department have sparingly released information implicating themselves or members of their agencies in facilitating and directly causing the untimely deaths, uh, the untimely death of uh, Dr. King. Although the Justice Department officially claims James Earl Ray assassinated Mr. Uh, King, a civil suit later determined that a Memphis cop was involved in a conspiracy to murder the civil rights leader. So there you go, folks. So don't don't be you know. I love the way they do this. That Mr. Putin, he's a bad man. And what they're really saying is, it's not that he's a bad man, but they're good people. And that's what, and when, any, when anyone shouts down or puts someone else down, they're not saying anything about anyone else. What they're really saying is they're good people. And that's what this is really about. So uh, the West would have you believe that they're good people. But uh, we know a different story. None of them are any good, Putin or any of them. Uh, the West or the East or the, or the uh, uh, Russians or the Americans or, or, or the, the Brits or uh, the Israelis or, or the Canadians. None of their political leaders, including Australia, pathetic, absolutely pathetic when it comes to uh, uh, being righteous in terms of having a moral compass. These people wouldn't know a moral compass from a uh, Siberian yak. Um, okay, um, as I said on tonight's show, I'll uh, continue to abuse the mainstream news. It's a hobby of mine. Um, and I just wanted to mention briefly, um, following on from my tribute to David Bowie, who passed away last week, uh, only a few days later, his drummer, Dale Griffin, passed away. Uh, and more recent passings include Scott Wheeland of Stone Temple Pilots, Glenn Frey of The Eagles, Lemmy Kilmister, frontrunner of Motorhead, and actor Alan Rickman. Uh, a mate of mine said, wow, those underground bunkers must be getting crowded, which got me thinking. And I have a sneaking feeling that you're going to see an inordinate number of celebrities quote-unquote dying in the next 12 months. So keep an eye out for that. In the lead-up to 2020, things are going to happen that you never thought you would live to see, and yet here it is. It's not coming anymore it's here uh, but ultimately it's all good uh, and we're living in the days when all will be revealed and indeed is being revealed um, so coming up this hour I continue with my uh, my Jack Russell style attack on the ankles of the mainstream system I have a book recommendation for you <laughs> uh, uh, plus a selection of funky tunes and I might squeeze in an uplifting quote or two just because I like you. So sit back, put your feet up and enjoy the show. You're listening to Willow Willis on Fab Radio International. This is Prince. <laughs> 